Hello everybody, Carol here, lovely to have you with me. I'm going to do week 17 or assignment number 17 of the collage challenge which is being hosted by Marguerite Miller this year. So I've got my prompts here and my pieces that I've listed out to hit each prompt um, here and I'll go through those in just one second. But firstly, can I apologise for the state of my hands? They've taken a bit of a battering with what's going on at the house um, and garden uh, of late here at home and also about an hour ago I rescued a mouse from one of the cats in the garden and unfortunately the, the mouse didn't realise that I was on the home rescue team and it bit me so I've got a plaster on my finger here so that I don't get any marks on my collage as I'm doing it so apologies for that so let's quickly go through the prompts and what I've lifted out the first prompt is a number or string of numbers well I'm going to use some ranger remnant rubs on my piece right at the end the second one is a food packaging label well I've gone for food in the generic term meaning food and drink and I've got this Malbec wine label that I saved now it's got some scratchy bits of paper on the back and the reason for that is because it was still tacky when I took it off the wine bottle and I didn't want it to stick to the other items that I've got in a folder of potential pieces that I might use for some of these prompts so I will trim this down before I use it something weather related or rather something with a weather related theme so here I've got an image of an embroidery and um, as you can see it's an umbrella really like that and thought that that would be nice to use and also this one which I absolutely love which is a little bit quirky gorgeous colour tones in there and obviously it's a cloud with some rain and you can see why I've gone for these two they're picking up the blue themes in the Malbec label so I've got those the next prompt is a bird and here again I've got a couple I've got this gorgeous little bird if I hold it up to the camera as you can see it's got a little hat on and it's got some boots on which I thought would would work well and I've also got this lovely little cheeky chappy very pretty lots of vibrant colors going on there so both of those would work well this one particularly because I was thinking that the bird would have its boots on if it was out in the rain so you know where I'm going with this one don't you stamp um, well I've got this one which is quite a bright green and again if I lift these out you can see why I'm, I've am i lifted out the, the colour choices. So this one would work well with that little chappy. And also that stamp would work well because this is a garden theme. This one and this one both have flowers. This is a paler pink here, but there are pink in the ribbons here. But this one's got some quite bright pink, which would pick up the pink on, on that. If I want something that's a little bit softer in colour tone, I've got this vintage stamp, which works really well against this background. Probably a little bit lost on, on that one, but we'll see. So that one is a, a good fallback. And finally, you saw me audition this stamp in the previous assignment I did last week. But actually, just before I put these away, I noticed this one, and this is two birds under an umbrella. And again, it's got tones of green, which might work. Not too sure about this one, but it's a fallback as well. So I've got that one. And the bonus is lines. And I've got this little snippet left over of some stamping up paper and uh, I thought I would use that. So let's get started and see what I can do to create an assignment this week. So I'm going to put my prompts in front of me as I always do and the first thing I obviously need to do is to trim off this Waitrose Malbec label so let me do that. I always seem to be using a wine label when I do these assignments. You must think I'm a, a real alcoholic here, <laughs> but uh, trust me, I'm not. I just save the labels whenever I, I see them. And I think I actually got this label from um, some friends rather than it being a bottle that we bought. So I'm going to leave these on for the time being. I will take them off when I come to glue this down. It will be lost at, with that orientation if I'm coming in with something like this so I'm going to turn it sideways and hopefully hide most of that let's have a look at this one works well against this background 
Let's go with this little chappy first. Um, my inclination is to pull it in so that I can get some of the raindrops on that side showing, which means I could potentially move it over a little bit more. Gone for greens here again because of the greens on the little sort of jacket that this bird is wearing. And with this one, there's soft greens in its feathers. Want to make this my focal point. Quite liking that straight away. I'm just wondering whether to bring in the stamps at this stage. Well, let's have a look anyway. Not so keen on this one. For some reason, I want to pull it in down here, but I'm not liking that line there. It's too busy up there. So that, that one won't work. This was the one I thought might work well with the hat. And actually, the shape of this one feels better feels like everything is going on down here and again if I put that up there I think it's softer so it works better than the previous stamp and it seems to be picking up the color tones here so I've got pink pink and pink so that works and then this yellowy orange yellowy orange and almost yellowy orange down here it does feel a little bit better and the other stamp was this one. And again, if I put it down there, I'm not liking that line. I could try pulling that down a little bit and having something like that. Let me take that one away. I'm going to move this over so that it's level with the Waitrose and Partners. So that's all you're seeing there. The Frank marks are picking up the black here. And I think when I go in with my Remnant Rub numbers, which are also black, kind of thinking I could put them down there so then I'd have three black I've almost got a rule of three going on with the blue yeah I'm quite liking that right I'm going to remember that but change out one or two things so the first thing I'm going to do is perhaps change out this little bird and come in with the other one these images are the same size but this is a smaller bird I put it against that one you can see so I'm hoping this isn't going to be too lost. Gives me the option to pull my stamp up there a little bit. This stamp isn't working as well with, with that. That one definitely isn't. And I think that one's too big. Okay, so I don't think this bird works as well, which is a shame because I like its little boots. So I'm going to keep those two together. Take that one out. Let's try this. I'm lining up the edge here underneath Waitrose and Partners. Again, this image is the same size as this image, although it doesn't look it, but it is. So I want to cover up that handle and I could almost have the umbrella coming out from the top of my bird's head there. So let's see how that works. So that kind of needs to go over there. And this I'm thinking could go in here. I'm trying to get a staggered edge there. Okay, I'm wondering whether I need to trim this down on either side there so I can get a better staggered edge here with my lines. I feel if I have the stamp then I need it to be in that gap there between its chest and its feet. This is the configuration I've decided on but I need to do one or two bits of tweaking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this pale green at the bottom there and I'm going to take away above second line of green here to reduce that down in size and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a slight portion off either side of that picture so I'll come back when that's done okay so these bits are trimmed down now I know where I'm going with these so I'm going to take away the bits that I'm not going to use put them off to one side oh I never auditioned that stamp okay just looking at it now the colour tones in terms of the green aren't right. The blue would be nice. The colour tones of this stamp work better with this bird, but I've decided not to use this bird. And as you can see, they're not right for, for this one. So I'm going to pop those all over to one side over here. Bring in my glue book because I know that I want my stamp stuck there absolutely there even though the rest is wonky that's exactly where I want it so I'm going to bring in my glue and I'm just going to gently lift up one corner and put a smidgen of glue down there just to hold it 
now I know that's where I want it. I can't really stick this down until everything else is more or less positioned. There we go. So I've dug out my remnant rubs and at first I was thinking they were going to look too heavy on here. So I dug these out because the prompt actually says a number or a string of numbers. So I was thinking maybe I could just use one of these up here um, or even I could have used three of them in, in a row. Um, but actually when I started digging through my remnant rubs and you can see the state that they're, they're in, I've come up with this and I actually think this, this will work, particularly as I made a little bit of a mess down in this bottom corner with the glue. I thought I could put a string of numbers there and a few numbers there. So that's what I'm going to do. They're just positioned uh, at the moment. So I'm just gonna go in with my bone folder and I'm just gonna try and secure them in place. Now here is a little bit tricky because I'm actually trying to take them over the lip of the umbrella picture and onto the white. So I'm hoping that it's going to work. So fingers crossed for me, please. And yay, that's worked. So I'm really pleased with that. Now I'm hoping here that the dark numbers or the heavy black numbers will pick up the black in the background on the bird image. And there we go. That's worked. I'm really pleased with this one. I love the colours. I like how it's all come together. So um, all I need to do now is rub away my background and take some photographs for you. But very quickly going through the prompts. A number or a string of numbers? Well, I've gone with two strings of numbers because basically I made a mess down in the bottom corner here. Um, food packaging label, that's my Waitrose uh, Malbec wine label in the background. Something with a weather-related theme. Well, I've gone with this image here of an umbrella that is an embroidered umbrella. Next one was a bird. I've gone with this little cheeky chappy here. A stamp, I've gone with this one down here, and bonus lines, I've got my lines there. So there we go everybody, came together pretty quick this time, and I have to say, I do like how it looks, and um, yeah, I'm pleased with it. So I hope you are too, thank you as always for joining me, I really do appreciate it, and as always, I'll leave you with some photographs, have a great week, take care everybody, bye!